scientist accidentally shatters coral in the lab, but his mistake can save the world's oceans. Everyone's talking about climate change because, as of late, it's become an impending issue that needs to be dealt with as soon as possible. After all, not only marine life, but also humans depend on the ocean's healthy ecosystem, and this is why the coral reef is so important, because it acts as an incubator of the ocean's ecosystem. Although coral reefs make up less than 1% of the ocean, they provide food and shelter to nearly 25% of all marine life that ultimately feeds billions of people around the world. Coming to the point, the largest living coral reef is Australia's Great Barrier Reef. However, not everything is fine and dandy when it comes to the Great Barrier Reef because, as of 2017, two-thirds of its structure was declared dead. When the ocean's water temperature rises to hostile levels due to global warming and climate change, it eventually kills coral reef in the process, thereby damaging the ocean's ecosystem. Seeing the significance of coral reefs for the survival of marine life and humans, it's therefore important that they are preserved and allowed to mature. Also, it takes 25 to 75 years for a coral to fully regain its former size. Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click that like button to help spread the word about Watch Jojo, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Can you then imagine what Dr. David Vaughn must have felt when he accidentally damaged a coral while he was cleaning a tank in his lab? In 2006, at the Moat Laboratory, Dr. Vaughn was busy clearing coral from a tank when he accidentally smashed one into several pieces. Naturally, the expert was upset because, knowing the time it takes for a coral to regrow and mature, precious time would be lost. However, what he didn't know is that he just discovered a brilliantly quick way to save the ocean's ecosystem. Dr. Vaughn was expecting the coral fragments to take years to mature. After all, the original coral took three years to grow. But in less than three weeks, the tiny coral fragments grew to their initial size. How did this happen? Apparently, in the 1960s, experts had discovered that fragmenting coral could actually encourage its rapid growth. To test this theory, Dr. Vaughn tried fragmenting other types of coral reefs in the Florida Keys, and, to his delight, they all regrew to their original size in just three weeks. In order to make the coral more climate-friendly, Dr. Vaughn is now prepping them to survive in more acidic and warm waters. Dr. Vaughn believes that this new discovery will restore and revive coral reefs and help them thrive under climate change. This new discovery may buy scientists some time to save the ocean's ecosystem or be the solution that scientists need to save the ocean's dying ecosystem.